I think Charlie likes you. And I like him. To tease, to torment, to make him squirm. I was stupid, okay? I, I was selfish. Why did it took you half the yearbook to figure that out? Oh, come on, just tell me. What do you want from me? I want you to let me go. Somebody else's bodily fluids, hair, something. So we can put whoever's responsible for this behind bars. And get her down. Cover them up. Just kids. What about a murder weapon? Knife. Deep wounds. Like a kitchen knife? Thicker blade. Like a hunting knife. More like it. The other girl is Marnie Cooper. Jenny Randall's parents are out of town. They thought she was sleeping at Marnie's. Marnie's parents thought they were at Jenny's. What about their cells? Didn't find them. I'll see if the phone company can get a fix on them. GPS coordinates. We'll help you solve this, Sheriff. I will. Thank you, Deputy Hicks. Appropriate. Where's Jill? Playing host to the Angel of Death. Heard you two got a phone call from the stab voice this morning. Sounds like Charlie. Or you. Where were you last night, by the way? I was at home sleeping like a baby. I just don't understand why the killer will call you and Jill and not me. We'll probably just call Olivia for a good time, but Jill, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, she's Sydney's cousin, blood relations. <laughs> the Grudge, Amityville Horror, Cape Fear, Halloween. Okay, so who's the target here? I mean, is it me and Jill, or is it Sydney? No, you can't kill Sydney. She's victim royalty. You gotta hit someone close to her. Wait a second, it doesn't have to be Jill. Sydney Prescott's character has been gone since Stab 3. And plus, she's rejected her victimhood. I mean, she's practically slapped fate in the face. Point taken. Yeah, Laurie Strode bit it in Halloween Resurrection. Ripley died in Alien 3. That's precedence. Shh, shh, shh. <sighs> Shut up, idiots! This is real life, okay? This isn't a movie. But one day, it will be. Well, time for someone new to die. Your bag. Thanks. Who's that? Oh, my mom. Oh. You, uh, sure you want to stay here? I booked a room for you, too. No, th this is fine. Well, yeah, I'll be at the Double Tree. Hey. Hey. It's nice to see you even under the circumstances. Same. Just a test. Very impressive. Thanks. Fifteen seconds. Evening, Sid. Evening. Evening, Jill. I found a little girl loitering outside. Hey, my parents are going for the weekend and there's no way I'm staying by myself. I got Chinese. Can we get the coroner's van door open, please? Did you get it all? Shot it from every angle. Weird about that pet door frame around her neck. My sister. What? Tatum. She was a victim in the original Woodsboro massacre. They found her body wedged in a pet door. These aren't just random murders. This is a Woodsboro remake. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gail Weathers, investigative reporter. Can I have a statement, officers? Not now, Gail. Was Olivia Morris the intended victim? Did the killer leave another message? Gail, please, try this on someone else. It's been a rough night tonight. Can you just interview Dewey at home? I'm here as a journalist. Just pretend you don't know me. Nice jacket. Good and evil. Her and the chief. Everyone has a dark side. Not Sheriff Riley. That's why you had to marry one. She was just right here. 
Well, 24-7, we'll be right by your side. You guys have nothing? No suspects? Well, I might know where we can find some. Really? And where might that be? Could you give me a minute? Sure, Mrs. Riley. Come on. Ms. Weathers? Okay, Sid, I'm gonna need your help. What are you thinking? Just hear me out, okay? Because if you're with me, tomorrow we're going back to Woodsboro High. I think your fanboys at the cinema club might have some answers. If it helps find whoever did this, whatever it takes. Tell me again what you saw. You in detention, officer? Yeah. Want to join me? Nah. You guys are really going to go through with this. The hells yes, we have reputations. I mean, we don't, but we'd like to have reputations. Would you rather be in a crowded room tonight or, you know, all alone? It depends. Are you asking me personally or theoretically? It depends on your answer. Come on, Kirby, stick with us. Best way to deal with grief, total desensitization. Same reason why my mom got remarried so fast. You do like horror movies, don't you? All right, send me an email. Maybe I'll show. You like that, don't you? Yes, I do. So say I really am this crazy psycho killer, huh? I'm doing all this just to win you back? I mean, that's a pretty wild romantic notion, isn't it? Shit, I almost wish it was true. Okay, look, Trevor, I get it. You're not giving up, point taken. But now is really not the time. I'm trying to find my phone. Okay, cool. I, I'll help you look. Are you sure you had it when you got here? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We were hanging around out back. Do you mind checking over there? You're not just saying that to me? You said you wanted to help, so help. Okay. You know, Jill, I get the hostility and everything, but I'm not the bad guy. I may be the stupid guy for showing up here, but I'm not the bad guy. You're not stupid, Trevor. Thank you. I'm gonna go look around back, you look in the car. Someone texted me from your phone. I swear to God. <laughs> 